He very, very quiet. We're hunting criminals. Eh. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a squirrel. Uh oh. Come here, you little toe rag. I'm gonna collar him. Oh, I'll I be bet right you are. You. Bet you are gonna collar him, aren't you? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes! All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? Then what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... No, but yes, but I'm no, tired. but yes. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. Oh, but, dude. But but what about the interrogation? Events, Are you not going to interrogate the poor lad? Coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You uh, are welcome, Lestrade. Inspector, but please Lestrade, don't be um, hard on our young fellow. If it wasn't like for, for Sherlock Holmes, Holmes, you wouldn't have realized that somebody was going to break in. And you wouldn't have had any idea that you should probably go and stage an ambush. Because, let's face it. Uh, goon. You're not that bright, are you? Now what? Rap scallions everywhere. Okay. Let's have a look in the evidence room. Should be These John Hopley Nelligan's belongings. belongings. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Sure. A handkerchief with the initials J-H-N. Let's have a look at that. There's inscription from R. Dawson Rosario to my friend and partner, 1883. And partner, 1883. To my friend from R. Dawson. Dawson, I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Yes, pocket the ring. Book that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These. Okay. What I should also probably do is. Uh... Let's have a look in the morgue. Since we're here, I mean, be rude not to. Dead body. Uh, okay. Inspect the Strad's office. Ah, drat and double drat. You're not an elegant. Aha, but you are. Hello, Squire. Seems we caught us on another loading screen. The 
If he's wearing a shabby cap, why does he have all of those interesting, seemingly uh, expensive, well, the expensive fabric for one, but the, um, the handkerchief. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? Expensive fabric. Ah, it was here. It was here. I swear it was here. Ah, the button. Boom. He's not the a rich boy now, is this he? this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Right. Um. Let's have a look at the ring. The engraving. ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. <clears throat> Let's have a look at no, that. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family. Good thing this wasn't current as day. Boy, this would be class as character assassination. Job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Of course it is, <clears throat> or of course it did, because Sherlock is never wrong. He's just really fucking smug about it. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Okay. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. Where did you find it? I did not know. Uh, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I am innocent. Yes. All right, so... Boom. Might not exactly prove his uh his guilt. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. <laughs> 